Hello, CCH family, and welcome to another Heart to Home devotional. Um, in Mark chapter 10, we witness Jesus ask the same question to three different people. Two of them had their petitions denied, and one had theirs granted. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Holy Spirit inspired Mark to place these two stories back to back in chapter 10, and it should cause us to uh, compare and contrast the outcomes. First, we start with James and John, also known as the Sons of Thunder. Uh, they requested an audience with Jesus, and Jesus asked them, what do you want me to do for you? And in Mark 10, 37, they said to him, grant us that we may sit one on your right hand and the other on your left in your glory. Their petition was immediately denied when Jesus responded in the first part of verse 38. But Jesus said to them, you do not know what you ask. Later in the same chapter, a persistent blind beggar named Bartimaeus was asked the very same question. And we find this in verses 51 and 52. And they read, so Jesus answered and said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And he immediately received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. So what was the difference? Same question, different results. James and John asked for power and prominence. Uh, Bartimaeus simply asked for sight. Uh, I get the, the feeling that he just wanted to be on the same level playing field with everyone else. One was a request of the flesh. The other was a request out of humility, a request for mercy. Have mercy on me, son of David. James 4.3 reads, You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures. And if you dig deeper into this word amiss, it implies bad intent. Uh, but sometimes our intent uh, can be good, yet our request is still amiss or wrong. John chapter 14 verses 13 and 14 read, And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. 1 John chapter 5, 14 reads, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. At times it is so easy to forget that this life is but a vapor when compared to the eternity uh, that awaits us. But I've been asking myself recently, do my petitions reflect that truth? Or are they influenced by my desire for comfort in this world? Um, would my answered prayers actually glorify the Father? Uh, do I follow the example of Bartimaeus and ask for spiritual sight? Do I ask for things that have eternal benefits or do I ask for things that will perish with me? Do my requests uh, reflect Matthew 6, 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you? Or have I switched the order of that verse? Now, of course, we all need things, but is there balance uh, to what I request from God? Uh, if I could place all my prayers on a scale, would it drastically tip uh, to the side of temporal comfort? Now, again, these are questions that I've been thinking about lately, as I believe this is something that the Lord is addressing uh, in my life. Uh, so I'll leave you with a question. Suppose you were fortunate enough to have an audience with Jesus, like the Sons of Thunder and Bartimaeus, and he asked you the same question, what do you want me to do for you? What would you ask him for? Now, uh, of course, that was sort of a, a trick question because if you, like 
Bartimaeus, have cried out to Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me, um, received spiritual sight and the forgiveness of your sins. And like Bartimaeus, you've laid aside the old garment, um, the old man, and put on Jesus, the righteousness of Jesus, and you followed him on that road. Well, then you have an audience with him whenever you want it. John chapter 15, verse 7 starts with the word if, and it's the biggest and most powerful word in the entire verse. It reads, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. I thank you for your time and I'll see you down the road.